Are you wondering what the process is for buying a house? Welcome back to Empower and Thrive. If you're considering buying a home, congratulations, this is a significant milestone. The journey to becoming a homeowner can seem complex, but understanding the process can make it much smoother. In today's video, we'll explore the 10 essential steps you'll go through when buying a home, from securing financing to getting the keys to your new place. By the end of this video, you'll have a roadmap of what to expect at each stage of your home buying journey. Let's dive in. The first step in buying a home is to get pre-approved for a mortgage. This is important because it gives you an estimate of how much a lender is willing to lend you, which helps you understand your potential budget and shows sellers that you're a serious buyer. During the pre-approval process, you'll need to provide your lender with details about your income, assets, and debts, and they'll also run a credit check. However, keep in mind that just because you're pre-approved for a certain amount doesn't mean you should borrow that much or that you can afford it comfortably. It's crucial to consider your own financial situation and set a budget that works for you. Additionally, getting pre-approved doesn't mean you're locked into working with that lender, but it does give you a solid foundation to start your home search. Next up, finding a real estate agent. A good agent is like your personal guide through the entire home buying process. They'll help you find homes that meet your criteria, negotiate with sellers on your behalf, and navigate the paperwork. Look for someone who is experienced in the area where you wanna buy, and don't be afraid to ask for referrals or check online reviews. A great agent can make the process smoother and less stressful. Now comes the fun part, house hunting. With your agent by your side, you can start visiting homes that fit your budget and lifestyle. As you tour homes, keep a checklist of your must-haves and nice-to-haves. Consider things like location, school districts, commute times, and future resale value. Don't be discouraged if you don't find the perfect home right away. It might take some time, but eventually, the right one will come along. Once you've found your dream home, it's time to make an offer. Your agent will help you determine a fair price based on the home's value and the current market conditions. When you submit your offer, you can also include contingencies, which are conditions that must be met for the sale to go through, like passing a home inspection or securing financing. The seller might accept your offer, reject it, or come back with a counteroffer, so be prepared to negotiate. Once your offer is accepted, the next important step is arranging a home inspection. This is your chance to uncover any potential issues with the property before finalizing the sale. You'll hire a licensed inspector to evaluate the home structure, systems, and overall condition. It's your choice which inspector to use, and if you're unsure, your realtor can provide recommendations from trusted professionals they frequently work with. If the inspection uncovers significant problems, you might need to negotiate repairs with the seller or, in some cases, reconsider the deal. It's always better to address these concerns upfront and ensure you're making a well-informed decision. Next, your mortgage lender will hire a third-party home appraiser to conduct an appraisal. This helps to determine the property's value. This is an essential step that helps protect both you and the lender by ensuring the home is worth the amount you're borrowing. If the appraisal matches or exceeds the purchase price, you're all set to move forward confidently. However, if it comes in lower, it presents an opportunity to renegotiate the price with the seller, bring in additional funds, or reassess the purchase. While this step may be mostly out of your control, it's a crucial part of the process that helps ensure you're making a sound investment. After the appraisal is complete, your lender will proceed with finalizing your mortgage through a process known as underwriting. During underwriting, the lender thoroughly reviews all aspects of your financial situation to ensure everything is in order. They might request additional documentation, such as updated bank statements, proof of income like recent pay stubs, or verification of assets like retirement account statements. Being prepared to provide these documents promptly can help avoid any delays. Once your loan is approved, 
you'll receive a commitment letter from the lender, which serves as their official promise to provide the funds for your home purchase. As we approach the finish line, you'll receive a closing disclosure from your lender at least three days before your closing date. This important document will outline all the details of your mortgage, including your interest rate, monthly payments, and the exact amount of money needed at closing. Take the time to review it carefully to ensure everything aligns with your expectations. If you notice anything that doesn't seem right, this is your opportunity to address it. With everything in order, you'll be ready to move forward confidently to closing day. Finally, the big day arrives, closing day. This is when everything becomes official and the property is finally yours. You'll meet with your agent, the seller, and a closing agent to sign all the necessary documents. During this process, you'll also pay any closing costs and your down payment. The funds for these payments are typically transferred via a wire transfer to the lender. The lender will give you the instructions to their process, ensuring everything is handled securely and efficiently. Once all the paperwork is signed and the funds are successfully transferred, you'll receive the keys to your new home. Congratulations, you're now a homeowner. The last step, moving in and enjoying your new home. After all the hard work, it's time to settle into your new space, make it your own, and start creating memories. Whether it's your first home or just your next chapter, take a moment to appreciate everything you've accomplished. Those are the 10 steps to buying a home. I hope this video has made the process feel a little less intimidating and a lot more exciting. Thanks for watching. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Happy house hunting and keep thriving.